John Engel with Haiti Partners, and I'm in Darbonne, Haiti right now. And this is actually, a, a, we're looking at a building right here beside where the children and the, the mentors are working on the one laptop, the EXO laptops. And it's underneath these trees where they're working every single day. And back behind, fortunately, the, the community library did not come down. There's a tent back there, too, that's being used for, uh, uh, for people who are injured for medical care. But I'm going to do a little tour right now um, so th and show you the schools where the children uh, and the mentors come from who are now actively involved in this pilot project. This is the, uh, behind me is the school, the Annun Annunciation School, that uh, some of the children who are involved in the pilot project and you can see that this school is, well, it's still standing. It's not safe to, to uh, for the students to be in. This is another building that's right close to where they're doing the, uh, the pilot project uh, with the XO laptops. This building didn't stand. This is a building that we used to do seminars in, uh, teacher training seminars, uh, but obviously we won't be doing them anymore. This is actually the church, uh, the Episcopal Church, which is right close by to where they're doing the EXO laptop pilot project. This is the church where I attended with my host family back in 1991 when I first came to Haiti to learn Haitian Creole. Over here is another school that's in the complex and that school is, is destroyed. This is another one of our Haiti Partners partner schools that was uh, destroyed. It's still standing actually, but obviously it can't be used. Um, and just in the past, couple of days they've cleared out all the rubble from inside but all the walls are down. So children from this school as well are participating in the EXO laptop. We're looking here where IMN Community School stood, another one of Haiti Partners partner schools. Back there they have actually have already constructed uh, to make it possible putting up the corrugated tin roof to protect from sun and rain and they've resumed classes here but this is another one of the schools where children have come from who are participating in the EXO laptop. And here we're looking at where, uh, where Cabwa Community School stood. The school was just built a couple years ago with the, uh, the sweat and energy of the teachers and parents. And uh, we were, my local church, community church, gave $5,000 to finish finish it off but it was primarily the, the participation of the local people but children from this school and teachers are also involved in the uh, Excel laptop project so thank you very very much for your interest and as you can see all around here there's destruction but there's the, the, the hope of opportunity as we look and see the children and see them so enthused about working with these laptops and we're excited because there's an opportunity for them to leapfrog forward and learn things and have access to, to knowledge that they would have never had if it wasn't for this terrible destruction. So thanks for your interest.